Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Carissa. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'm already over 100 subscribers and I'm so excited for all the people who have joined the fam. I don't believe I've linked my Instagram on my account um, before, so I'm gonna leave my Instagram account details in the description box below if you guys are interested in following me on there. So just want to throw that out there. What I have for you guys today is a Lululemon hacks and how I've saved money shopping at Lululemon. So if you're interested to see how I save money, then please keep on watching. I obviously cannot make a video about how to save money at Lululemon without addressing how expensive Lululemon is in the first place. So yes, Lululemon is very expensive, um, that's no secret. And typically the reaction I get from people who don't really shop at Lululemon is pretty much like, I would never pay that much for workout clothes, which is fine. Like, you know, everyone is entitled to their opinions, whatever, but I am one of the vast and growing majority of people who do spend that much on their workout clothes. And pretty much my explanation is always one, I live in workout clothes, like I'm in workout clothes 90% of the time. Two, pretty much is that um, I the quality of the clothing justifies the price in my opinion. Um, as you guys know, I played a college sport before, like I have done the Nike thing and to me there's a huge difference in the clothing. Not, you know, knocking Nike or anything like that, but there is a difference in the quality. And then three is I'm one of those people, there's like no price tag you can put on living a healthy lifestyle. So for example, when I signed up for my eight week challenge at the gym, it was $150 to join the challenge. And I remember I had a lot of people discouraging me or not discouraging me, but they were pretty much like, why would you pay that much? Like, isn't that really expensive? And that was the thing that caught, like helped me lose the most weight. So I'm just an advocate for, you know, there's no price tag for you trying to get healthy. And some people don't understand that and that's okay. But if you know that buying a nice workout outfit is going to, you know, motivate you to go to the gym or make you feel more confident at the gym, then by all means, I'm one of those people to say that go for it, you know? So I just wanted to throw that out there. I wasn't trying to go off on a tangent, but that just is something that I felt like I needed to address. So how I wanna break this video down is basically I'm going to talk about what you should know about shopping at Lululemon before you shop there. For my people who have not shopped at Lululemon before, so obviously my Lululemon OGs, you may want to skip over this first part of the video if you are familiar with shopping at Lululemon already. But this is for the people who, you know, you know, are curious about the brand and are interested in getting an item or two. So yeah, so that's going to be the first part and then from there I will talk about my top four ways I have saved money at Lululemon. The initial what you should know before you shop at Lululemon should be one is that they do not have sales like typical sales and what I mean by that is how Nike or Under Armour may have like 25% off, 50% off, or buy one get one half off. Lululemon does not operate like that, unfortunately. And I think that has a lot to do with them wanting to keep the brand exclusive. So they don't have sales like that, but they do have sale items. And most of those sale items are final markdowns. So basically what I mean by that is they have items that are maybe low in inventory or items they are like cycling out for the season they will mark those items down in their final sale which means that you can't return them in like a store you find out recently from a subscriber that there is a way to return final sale items which i did not know that and that is basically you can contact their like customer service 
online and they will work with you and send you like an e-gift card or something like that which is really awesome that you know they are standing behind their product so i was pleasantly surprised to find that out so thank you to that subscriber who let me know that but typically the final sale items are final sale which means you can't return them in the store um this is an example of a price tag of an item that has been marked down final sale as you can see here it is a time to sweat bra and they have the sticker on here with the price and the final sale um, notification so this is the bra that that tag was on just a strappy back bra that I have shown you guys on this channel before so when you are in store looking for final sale items look for the tag to have the sticker on it Another thing you should know is that sometimes items are like, if you don't get them then when they're there, they're just going to be gone. So I can't really um, give you like key examples of certain like names to look out for or anything like that because it just honestly depends. But I do know that they do have essential items that they keep in rotation like throughout the seasons, like year, year in, year out. And those, for example, are gonna be the energy bra, the aligned leggings that are really popular, the ones that feel like butter. The defined jacket is another great example. So those are just my top three that I can think of off the top of my head that are pretty much in, in rotation, like year in, year out. Like you don't have to worry about those things not being around. But I do have a couple examples of items that are kind of like, they were there and I haven't seen them since. Just this really cute tank top. I'm not sure of the name of it. I can't remember the name of it, but I knew that this was something that wasn't gonna come back. And this is what it looks like. So this is the front. It's just this like cropped tank um, in this like stretchy, like spandexy material it does have ruffles on the side which i mean that wasn't my favorite part of the shirt favorite part of the shirt was the back which it is open back and it crosses like this such a cute shirt and i remember when i first started like getting into lemon i was looking for this tank top and it was nowhere to be found and so that was pretty much because it was one of those exclusive items that they don't really keep in stock all the time, which I kind of like, it's kind of, that adds to, I feel like, the exclusivity of the brand. It's kind of like how Yeezys were when Yeezys first came out and people were like, oh my God, I have to get them. Like, they're going to be sold out. I'm not going to be able to get them. So that's pretty much, I feel like, what Lululemon tends to do as well. They do have items that, you know, like the shirt that, you know, once they're there, they're, you know, once they're gone, they're gone. But don't be discouraged. Um, they do, sometimes they do bring items back around. It may not be that next year or the next season, but they do come back around. And then, so another thing you should know is not only are certain items, once they're gone, they're gone. They do the same thing with certain colors and certain prints as well. A certain color would be like a really hot pink or something like that. Um, a color that's kind of like seasonal like pinks and greens and stuff like that they like you'll know when they're seasonal because they're not like the primary colors colors you can definitely count on lululemon to have at all times are navy white gray and black like those are just the staple primary colors that they typically have in all their capsule items so that's just something to keep in mind whenever you are shopping at lululemon and you um, run across something that you really like if it is in a bright color or in a bright print i would definitely not hesitate to go ahead and grab it um, especially if it's on final sale because there's a big chance that that will not be around for a long time. So now let's get into my top four ways to save money at Lululemon. So I'm gonna start from number four and work my way down to number one. And this is with the um, assumption that you guys already know that trainers and certified um, 
professionals, fitness professionals do get a discount at Lululemon, so that would obviously be one way to save money. The number four way to save money is gonna be Poshmark or resale groups. So I know there's like a resale group on Facebook. Like I said, Poshmark is an app where basically you sell your old clothing and I know that Lululemon items are really, really popular on there. I actually am gonna jump into that as well because I have a couple of items that I wanna get rid of since I've lost weight. So if you want to try Lulu stuff and not initially buy like spend so much money at first this is a great option for you like just to see like how the items fit on you like what size you would need this would also be a great place to look for those exclusive items that are no longer um, available so like maybe that shirt that I showed you guys the coral one that would be somewhere that you could possibly find that shirt the number three way to save money is there are two holidays that I know of from Lululemon that they actually have like a sale on. I have experienced one sale on International Women's Day and I actually believe it was a 25% off. Like, and it's so funny because I remember I was not expecting that. I was literally just going in there to shop, just to browse around. If I would have known that, I would have definitely stocked up on some more stuff. And then the other day they have um, a sale. It's on Boxing Day, which is what I told you guys about, which is the day before Christmas or the day after Christmas. They don't call it like a huge sale or anything like that, but they do like add a ton of items to their we made too much section, which I'm gonna talk about here shortly. That's their like final markdown section and they add a ton of items on Boxing Day. So those are the two days that I know of that they actually have like a decent like markdown section going on. I mean, they do update their markdown section pretty often, but those are the two like days I would look out for if you're um, expecting like certain holiday sales. Those are only two I know of. If you guys know of any more, let me know in the comments below. Number two way to save money from Lululemon is going to be the outlet stores. Now, I know this kind of isn't fair because I don't think they have a ton of outlet locations, but you guys, the outlet stores are so great. I didn't know this until recently. Um, I went to an outlet store a few months ago and it literally is just a full Lululemon location with all markdown stuff. Now, I'm not gonna say that the prices are like much different than like the uh, online markdown stuff or like stuff you would find marked down in an actual Lululemon like mall or whatever, or mall location, but um, they have a lot more to choose from. So I was, I went in there totally with the expectation that I wasn't gonna find anything. I found so much stuff. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna show you guys the two items that I picked up from the outlet location closest to me, and I do plan on making another, another trip soon. So um, let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing a video of that. I'm gonna have to figure out how to record myself in the actual store, um, but yeah, the outlet locations are awesome. So um, this first item is this bra that I got. It is called the Forget the Rest bra, and I believe this was marked down recently, but not in this red color. So when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. And um, yeah, so this is the bra, and I paid 34 bucks for it. And this was at the outlet location. Like I said, they don't have like the pricing isn't much different, but it's just the items they have and the colors they have are usually not listed on the site or the actual store locations don't have the same sale items. <laughs> and then the next sale item that I got, which is by far my favorite from the outlet store, is my Define jacket in the Nulu fabric. So this is like that buttery texture. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to tell, but it has a hood also, which the Define jackets typically do not have hoods. So when I saw this in this color, which is the color I wanted, they had my size like 
I was just blown away. Like I fell in love with the outlet store at that moment. The outlet store that I went to, I will go ahead and share this, is the one, if you guys are local to the New York area or Jersey area, the one I went to was in Woodbury Commons. So um, for my local people, you guys definitely check out that location. The top and final way to save money at Lululemon is going to be their online we made too much section which is going to be um their final sale markdown section the whole rest of this video is going to be dedicated to how i save money shopping online at the limit okay the we made too much section like i said is their final markdown section and that is how i shop for the lemon 85 to 90 percent of the time is where i have bought majority of my items like this what i'm wearing right now is actually a scuba hoodie that i bought on the markdown section um i do find some stuff in store so whenever i go into a lululemon location i always look at their markdown like section i have started shopping online a lot more because it's just a lot more convenient so if you go on Lululemon's website, they will not have a tab that says um, like sale or anything like that. Their final markdown section is gonna be called the We Made Too Much section. So once you click on that, you will see a lot of the final markdown items. When I go on this on the site, I usually go on there, I know they update it every week but I usually typically start checking it on Wednesdays because I know by Friday that the sale items that they have for the week are gonna be up by Friday. So on Wednesday is when I kind of check periodically to see if they updated the We Made Too Much section. So it, for actually going in store, I can't remember, I, an employee told me once before, but I believe they, um, they, update their sale items every like Tuesday or Thursday. I want to, it's one of those two days. I don't know if that's the same for every location, but they typically, I would just go in, like if you have a Lululemon uh, store near you, just go in and ask like, hey, like, you know, when you guys typically mark down items, so I'll know. And yeah, they'll let you know when to expect um, new markdowns. So let's get into the pricing, which I know some people are really curious to know about. Some people, Lululemon's sale pricing may not actually be a sale, but I mean, most of the items are marked down. Like I'd say the average is anywhere between, you get a 10 to maybe like even, like I've saved up to like $200 on a sale item before. So it really, really varies. But I'd say the average is, may, you'll save anywhere between like, 10 to 50 bucks on a sale item. So I wrote down like pretty much the cheapest I've gotten anything from Lululemon is like $9. Like they have their headbands and um, like scrunchies and stuff. Those are usually marked down to about $9. It's the cheapest I've ever seen anything. Average price I'm gonna throw out that I've paid. Now this is not rule of thumb. This is not like set in stone. This is just from my experience and what I've paid for items. So the lowest I've paid for like a Lululemon bra is gonna be 29 bucks. Like I haven't paid any less than that for a Lululemon bra. And an example of that would be my free to be wild bra. So this is an example of a free to be wild bra. These are typically on markdown. Um, you, like I said, the colors are gonna vary. You're not gonna, probably not gonna find like the really popular colors on there, but you never really know. That's why I check it. So um, a bra like this, I've paid, I've gotten a couple of bras like this for 29 bucks. I've paid 39 bucks for a bra. I showed you guys for the forget the rest bra, I paid 34 bucks. Um, so it, it really varies. Um, so it, it's kind of all over the place, but I paid $39 for bras. Tank tops are usually 39 bucks. Item that I paid $39 for would be like this tank top and it's just a timeless twist tank that I showed you guys in my last haul video. So it's just black tank top. Hopefully the pants are gonna find under $49 category. So 
I showed you guys a pair of like work pants. They're called the On The Move pants, I think, that I paid 49 bucks for. So that's what you're gonna find in the category anywhere between $49 and down. And when you hit $59 to $69 and keep going up, that's where you're gonna find like a lot of leggings. So leggings start at like $69. It's the cheapest I've ever paid for some markdown leggings. An example of that is going to be my new Train Time 7 8s that I bought. These were marked down for 69 and they are super, super comfortable and I love the color of these. So now let's go into like what items you can expect typically in the we made too much sections. Items that I have found personally that are typically available are gonna be the energy bra, the free to be bra. So I showed you the free to be wild. There are other free to be bras as well like the free to be serene like they have a whole like capsule of those that line so that line is typically you can find those marked down the defined jacket so here's a defined jacket that i bought on sale it is just in this really te pretty teal color i don't remember what i paid for it but um yeah, this is one that is, that's an item that's typically on markdown as well. And the scuba hoodie, which is what I'm wearing right now. I have quite a few of these and they are, I bought all of them on markdown. Like those are items that I really would not pay full price for unless it was a color that I really, really, really loved. Um, I do have a, couple of energy bras that I paid full price for just because of the color unfortunately but I don't do that often just in general other than like those capsule items that are usually marked down what you can kind of expect to look for in the markdown section are also cropped leggings so they always have a bunch of cropped leggings on markdown and I think that has a lot to do with like people have like the full length or 7 8 length in leggings now um crop leggings are not as popular as they used to be so those are usually marked down they're, they're uh lux stream fabric leggings are usually marked down so an example of that would be the train times that i just showed you guys these right here they are that lux stream fabric so i found that a lot of their lux stream items are marked down and i'm not sure why that is because i love the luxury uh fabric so i guess that has to do with people like the line leggings are so popular that it's just like a line or nothing for a lot of people so the luxury i feel like gets overlooked a little bit but that's fine because that's more marked down items for me um shorts are often marked down as well <clears throat> here is, is an example of some hottie toddies that i found on markdown they're in this like really lime green color and this these shorts are often marked down in like various colors so Look out for those. The Swiftly Techs are always marked down. So I've shown you guys the Swiftly Techs before on my channel. I'm a big fan of them. Love, love, love those shirts, especially the long sleeves. So you can really find like the long sleeves and the short sleeves and the tanks marked down. Here's an example of one I just bought recently. I showed you guys in my haul video of a Swiftly Tech that I bought on markdown. So look out for those as well. Augers are usually marked down and tank tops, which I already said and showed you guys. Kind of what you should look for when it comes to kind of what you can expect in the um, We Made Too Much section. But at the same time, like I said, they have a ton of items that are low in inventory that they're just trying to get rid of or trying to cycle out. So this is just, what I've personally seen that's more consistent in the sales section, but they have so many items that are just random and you know, they're just trying to cycle out like the um, Cloudscape jacket I showed you guys in the last video. That was randomly on there. You just really have to look whenever, um, I, like I told you guys, just look consistently and you'll find stuff. 
so what I just showed you or what I just told you about the capsule stuff that's usually marked down that's a great place to start for beginners so if you go on a Lululemon and you're interested in buying something and you're like okay I don't want to pay so much for a bra off the jump maybe you know I want to just kind of see what they have check out those uh, capsule items on their markdown section so like the energy bra the free to be wild or the free to be line of bras the define jacket and the scuba hoodie I highly recommend any of those four items for people new to Lululemon to start off with and they always have those marked down the colors are gonna vary and the colors that usually sell out quickly are gonna be the primary colors and the really cute prints. So like whites and blacks are usually like the first to go because they're, you know, more of a color, like more wearable color. And then you have the prints and stuff that are kind of gonna go quickly if they're a more popular print. So that is pretty much it. I typically, like I said, I don't like paying full price for a Lulu stuff especially if it's stuff that like I know that it's going to be marked down it may not be in the exact color I want but it's that item is going to be marked down but I do have items that I have paid full price for so these are for example the all the right places pant in this really pretty purple color and I paid full price for these just because I knew that this color wouldn't be around and this was my first time trying this legging and I wanted to try it so um, these this is typically not on markdown as well so I was just like okay well I'm just gonna try it a few other things that I have paid full price for I just want to be completely transparent were this set that I showed you guys in the last video this was the uh, like horizontal striped energy bra a line and then the matching wonder unders in the 28th inch length I did pay full price for those because I knew that this print would probably not be around for long and I noticed that it was selling really quickly it was really popular online so I was like I better get it now or I'm gonna regret not getting it. So who knows, they, they very well could cycle this back in like a few seasons from now, but you know, you have to play that waiting game and you know, I just decided to go for it. And then probably the most expensive thing I paid full price for was my down for it all vest. And this to me was totally worth it just because of how much I wear it and I knew that I would wear it a lot so that's how I kind of like justified paying the full price for it they've had it marked down in like orange and you know a lot of fun colors but not the basic black color so just something to keep in mind um, I know that this was a lot this was a really really hard video to film guys just because it's just a lot of information and it was just hard to break it down in a way that kind of was beneficial i hope that you guys take away something from this video i hope it was helpful if you guys have any questions at all please leave them in the comments below and i will get back to you as soon as possible but thank you guys so much for the support and i will see you guys in the next video thanks bye